skills together. And I'm going on with the Lord. Welcome, brother, in the back. Anytime you are, our doors are always open. With open hinges, you can come in and have church with us. We are grateful that you walked in tonight to hear what the Lord has to say to us. I would rather be nowhere else but in the house of the Lord to hear his word and let him know that we love him. We appreciate it. We are not just complaining. We appreciate what the Lord has done, how he breathed breath back into my body. You can point at yourself and say, my body. I praise God for he smiled on me one more time. Okay. Midnight. <laughs> In somebody's life. But we, tonight we are watching. And it, it means that we have to watch the day that Jesus is coming. He's coming. He's coming back for a ready church. So watch, ye therefore. You know not the day nor the hour that Jesus is coming. In the book of St. Matthew 24, I'm going to ask Ellen to read for us. We have the Lord takes us. And one thing about God, I let God lead us because he knows what we need. I'm just a servant, being obedient to the call of God. A lot of people could be called by God, be used by God. But you got to be obedient to the call of God. If God is calling you, I heard my uh, son say tonight, well, he does what God says in a sense of Helping people, training people. But I told him you have the word in you. Come from a priest family. God has called you. Go out, open your mouth, speak. He'll, pre he'll speak for you. He'll preach for you. You just got to be obedient to the call of God. So if you have not been obedient to the call of God, this is a new year. You need to change your attitude. You say, Lord, here I am. Use me for your glory. Somebody. Don't know which way to go. They need direction. Here am I. This is what we need to say. Send me. I'll go. I'll say what you want me to say. And I'll do what you want me to do. We say that, but most of the time we run and we hide. You can't run, neither can you hide from God. He's an all seeing our God. He's God, never lost the case. He's a God. He's my mother, my father, my sisters, and my brothers. All my sisters and brothers are Lord. I got one that's nowhere laying on bed sick now. But he allowed me to be here to preach his word. I'm going to be obedient to that call until he come back. And I want to hear him say, when he do come back, servant, well done. Have you been faithful to what God has told you to do? This is a new old year going out and a new year about to come in if he allowed us to get there. Amen. So we need to change our attitude and our behavior so that we can walk upright before the Lord. No man know the day nor the hour that Jesus is coming. But one thing we do know that he said he's coming back again. And what he's coming for? He's coming for a ready church. Have you got your house in order? Have you been born again of the water and of the spirit? It's not about natural food. He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of his mouth. He's the written word. So let us, obedient comes. So your blessing can come. Obedient first, and your blessing can come. Only you can get those things when you're obedient to the word of God. So we're going to go into the word of God, see what the Lord has to say. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and we're going to start at verse 36 and see where the Lord takes us from there. Now, this is the illustration um, the, the days of Nora. Nora was uh, obedient. 
speaker for the Lord. He hammered on one message. Somebody may say, I got one song. That's all I got. But I'm going to preach it. I'm going to sing it to the day I die. If you don't want to hear it, then you got to close your ears. But this is North. Illustration of the days of Noah. Read out in the 36th verse. But of that day. But of that day. In our. In our. No is no man. No is no man. You don't know when Jesus is coming. Your duty is to be prepared. Live right. Prepare your heart and your mind and your soul. So when you die, you can go back with him. Great. But of that day in our. No is no man. Of that day and the hour, no man knoweth no man. No. Not the angels of heaven. Not the angels of heaven. But my father only. But the father only. He's the only one know the day that he's going to come back and get us. But you, your duty is to be ready. Live holy every day. We talk about a watch night. You better watch. No man know the day, not the hour that Jesus is going to come back get you. But Job declared that man is born of a woman only a few days. And guess what? And he says, full of trouble. Three yeah. hours. 37 verse. But as the days of Noah, as the days of Noah, were so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So was the day of the coming of the Son of Man be. Be. Three. For as in the days that were before the flood, in the days that was before the flood, they were eating and drinking. They was eating and drinking, just like people today. They are eating and drinking, partying, some of them giving in marriage, and some of them getting divorces. Giving in marriage, they get divorces all over the place. Three. Eating and drinking. They was eating and drinking, partying, doing what they want to do. Marrying and giving in marriage. They were, there you go. I didn't know it right there, but marriage and giving in marriage. That means you're leaving your husband or your wife to try to find something else. Mm. You better take care of what you got. Free help. Until the day of Noah entered into the ark. Until the day that God told them to get all the stuff ready. You know what? Read it. You'll find out all the things that He told them to get. And put in the ark. He was obedient to that, right? And knew not until the flood came. He didn't know anything, but one thing about it, he had faith to believe if God said it, he's going to do it. He said he didn't see no rain, but he moved by faith to believe what God said that he was going to do. And it, it slipped up on some of because you don't obey the word of God, and when God tells something, we just ignore it. Until it happens, then we realize it. it's too late then. Read. And knew not until the flood came. He didn't know it until the flood came. And took them all away. And they washed all of them away. Read. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. No man, that's what he said, no man know the day. No, the hour is going to slip up on you. Now, if you know a thief, <clears throat> gonna come to your house and gonna break into your house. You will be sitting there watching in God. But no, we don't know. We'll go out, and that's when the thief will snip in. Just that son of man is gonna come. You don't know the day, not the hour. So stop trying to figure it out and get ready and be ready. Stay ready. Get your house in order. This is what we are here for: is to prepare a place. Because he's coming again. And he's coming for a ready church. So he's trying to prepare us to be ready when he comes. Then we won't have to hear him say, Depart from me. Read, Elder. Then shall two be in the field. Two going to be in the field. The one shall be taken. One will be taken away. And the other left. And the other one left. Read. Two women shall be grinding. They're going to be grinding in the field. And on the, at the mill. At the mill. The one shall be taken. One shall be taken. And the other left. And the other left. What verse you have? Uh, 41st. 41st verse. Okay. Read. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. They're going to be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken. One shall be taken. And the other left. And the other one left. 
Deuteronomy 24 and 6 says, 24 and 6. No man shall take the neither. No man shall what? No man shall take the neither. The neither. Or the upper millstone. Or the upper millstone. To pledge. To pledge. For he taketh a man's life. He taketh a man's life. To pledge. To, to what? To pledge. To pledge. Okay, pledge. read. Go back to the... Where are you at? 42? Yeah, go, go right there. Okay. Yeah. Watch therefore. Now... Do it. There's the golden word, watch. Some people just looking for, just hold it right there. Watch means you're expecting something. You're looking at a day like today is what? The uh, 30th. Sa Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday is the 30th. Day is the 30th. Tomorrow is what? Sunday the 31st. Sunday is the 31st. And the next day is what? New Year. New Year. New Year. Now they watching just for the New Year, old year go out, and the New Year go in. What you gonna do with your life? Are you watching that you might be saved when it come, or are you just watching and see from day for night, or the next day come in after the other? What you gonna do about it? What you going to do about your life? If Jesus happened to come. Between those days, don't just be watching. Maybe watch for him that your soul don't go to hell. Watch that you might be saved when he come back to take you. There's a lot of ways you watch. I tell you tonight, you watch what you eat. Watch what you say because your mouth can kill somebody. And I tell you, watch out for the enemy. Sit down and Work on that word watch. We need to watch what we need to watch for. Watch how you treat your neighbor. Watch how you talk about and preach a man. Amen. Watch your mouth. There's a lot of ways to watch. And we just get stuck on one little word. Watch night. Is it midnight in your life? Watch. So just to show it's midnight. A cry going to be made in your life. Amen. Read out. Forty-second verse. Watch therefore. Watch therefore. For ye know not. You know not. What hour? What hour? Your Lord does come. The, your Lord does come. You don't know it. I don't know it. Even the angels don't even know. But one thing I do know, He said He's coming. And what He coming for? Coming for a prepared people. To take them to a prepared place. If you are not ready, you're not watching how you live and how you carry yourself and not watching to obey this word, you're still in trouble. You're in trouble. Because you got to do this word. Every word that comes out of the mouth of God in this word, you got to have it in your spirit. We are more spirit man than we are natural. So your, your spirit man needs to hear the word. That's why so much chaos in the word today because people fail to sit down and listen to the word of God and put it in your spirit man so that you will know what God is saying. So you don't go crazy and lose your mind because you don't have the word in you. If you do not have this word in you, you will lose your mind. Because the word, what it does, it builds you up. And to lift you up. And it causes you to grow in grace. And wait on the Lord. David declared, he said, wait, I say, on the Lord. I will give you the desires of your heart. Some of us can't wait. You can't wait. God said, wait. He, he, he means wait. Step back and wait. Wait on the Lord. God knows what we need before we even ask. Amen. He said, I will give you 
desires of your heart, whatever your heart is longing for. Read the word. It will feed your inner man spirit. Just like we feed the natural man. Everybody cooking stuffed turkey. Mm. And we just have stuffed up of the wrong thing. It's all right to eat the natural. He said, eat and be merry. That's what in the book of Solomon said. Amen. But first of all, you got to know that you're saved. Sanctified. Holy Ghost filled. Fire baptized. Amen. You must be born, listen close, of the water and of the spirit. And you must be born by baptized. The fire God sends your life is nothing but trouble. He's trying to get you something out of us that should not be in us. He wants to get us prepared that we can go back with him. So watch. It's in the Bible. It's not just a watch night. They watch your way you live. So watch how you treat people. Watch. That should be a, a byword for the church. Watch what you do. Even watch how you walk. Some of us old folks need to watch how we carry ourselves. I'm old. I'm glad to be old. Because if I had not been saved, the devil been took me out. But I'm so glad his mercy and his grace, he just came by and rescued me. Today I'm saved and I'm sanctified. I'm Holy Ghost filled. I can treat my neighbor right. I can share with my neighbor. I'm not always coming out of my, my face with cursing and swearing. Mm. Because I'm baptized. I'm a baptized believer. I believe in the word of God. Amen. When I got in that liquid grave back then, not for a few years back, I've been baptized before, but I got in there again to make sure that I was clean. I left all that ugly stuff in the water. When I come up, I was a new creature. Walking in the newness of life. I gave my heart to Jesus. Then I recognized that some things I was doing was wrong. And I repented to the Lord. I said, Lord, I'm not going to do this again. I'm not going to do this again. So I changed my way, my heart, my mind, my spirit changed. So the word of God lets me know that you can't go to heaven any kind of way. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. You got to be saved. You got to be sanctified. Holy Ghost filled. You got to have a, the love of God in your heart. When somebody do you wrong, you got to love them anyway. You got to have the love of God in your heart. You can't get mad because the devil is coming and smacking on the right and smacking on the left. But you still got to hold your post. You still got to do the right thing. And then, Lord, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. It takes a lot. Told me to endure. The word endure hardness as a good soldier. We're soldiers for the Lord. Sometimes we got to go through some hard trials and tribulation. Job. Call up Job. Job said, why do the righteous have to suffer? You have to suffer because God loves you so much. He want to bring out the best in you and get the worst out of you. What a mighty God. Amen. He went to the cross on Calvary. They whipped him. They spit on him. They said all kinds of manner of things evil about him. He never said a mumbling word. He said, Father, if it's your will, let this bit of cup pass from me. But he thought about it. He said, well, it's your will, Lord. Let your will be done. 
When God gets finished, we shall come forth as pure gold. When we were born, we all were born into sin. And he, God, so loved the world that he gave. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. That he gave his only begotten son. And he said, and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but ye shall have everlasting life. I want to have that everlasting life. I want to hear him say, servant, thou good and thou faithful servant. You've been faithful of a few things. Come on up higher. Over a minute. I want to hear him say, welcome home. Come on in. Sit down. Rest a while. That's the kind of God that we serve. For well, God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. And whosoever, whosoever believes in him, you don't have to worry. When you get up there, the street all paved with gold. Sometimes down here we try to own a little gold. A little fake gold I got on right here. It ain't real gold. It's, it's my ring, and I love it. But there's gonna be some pure gold. We gonna walk around heaven one day. Hallelujah. And you don't have to worry about our pride no more. Sometimes people do you so wrong. You don't know why you're hurt, but you're hurt. But God sees that He knows all things. That's why we gotta learn to trust in the Lord with all your heart. And then not to your own understanding. Sometimes we wonder why I have to go through all of this. But God knows. He sit high and he looking low. He knows all about it better than we can tell. He made us and he created us from our mother's womb. He had a plan designed for each one of our lives. We gotta realize we can't do nothing on our own. And I thank God for saving me. I thank Him for sending His Son Jesus to the world for Calvary. They killed Him. They spit on Him. He had wept on His back. Glory be to God. But he humbled himself to the foot of the cross and didn't say not one word. And sometimes we find ourselves mumbling and we find ourselves grumbling about every little situation. Look at what he went through with. He went through a lot and didn't open his mouth. Like a sheep going to the slaughter to be slaughtered. You know a dumb sheep that like you put him on the truck and you're going to take it to have him killed. And he just bad, he don't know. He don't know that he in for real treat. Because he's gonna be beat for somebody. Amen. But God knew what he was doing. 42 generations. He went through all of that. His kid folk. Uh, who was that? Moses. David, Ruth, a whole lot of folks. You sit down and you read in your book, Matthew, or he's the same group. You'll find all that, that Jesus, God gave his son Jesus on the cross, that he might have, we might have a right to the tree of life, that he might save us, sanctify us, and fill us with the blessed Holy Ghost. It's a plan that God had put together to save the human which the enemy had got came to Adam and Eve in the garden. And he deceived Eve and told him, it's alright if you eat from this tree. 
that never told your dad what's going to happen. But he deceives her. And sometimes we let the devil deceive us. And the word deceive means to mislead us into things that we should get into. Be careful. Watch. There you go. Watch. This is a watch night. Watch. For your soul. Mama can't do it. Papa can't do it. Nobody can do it for you. We have to watch and be prepared. Prepare your heart to meet this home coming king. Because just as sure he went away, he's coming again. And he having us as ministers to go out there and minister. Tell somebody, God love you. And you can't face what you're going through with. We have to lift up people and watch how we carry ourselves. People are watching us. And you want to watch word? Watch. For the saints of God. We need to watch what we do. And what we say. And in the places that we go, we shouldn't be going there no more. We'll sanctify. Set aside. What is that? Roman? I tell for brethren. Roman 12. What? Roman 12. I therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body, your body, a living sacrifice, holy. God don't want nothing dead, dirty, abomination to him. He want a clean vessel. So you got to watch what you say and what you do. Because guess what? This word is judging us now. You can tell whether you're going to heaven or not. If you don't live according to the word, hell will be your home. And what do you say about hell? Hell is enlarging itself. I look at a, a bulldozer. Some of y'all know what that is. Push back dirt. Push up scrub trees. The Holy Ghost is coming. Holy Ghost is coming. And guess what? In order to use this cave hell, you got to get in line with the word of God. You got to line it up with the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. Give me Hebrews 13. I don't know what you're going to say, but you're going to say something. Hebrews 13. Start in the first verse of hell. Let brotherly love continue. Let brotherly love continue. We got to get on one accord, y'all. Ready? Be not forgetful. Don't be forgetful. To entertain strangers. To entertain strangers. For thereby. For thereby. Some have entertained angels. Some have entertained angels unaware. Didn't know you were, angel, you were talking to an angel. We were so all hyped up and puffed up and all kinds of up. Read. Remember them that are in bonds. Remember them that are in bonds. As bound with them. As bound with them. And them which suffer. Those that suffer. Adversity. Adversity. As being yourselves. As being in yourself. Also in the body. Also in the body. Read. Marriage is honorable. Marriage is honorable. In all. In all. In the bed undefiled. In the bed undefiled. But homemongers, but homemongers, and adulterers, and adulterers, God will judge. God will judge. And it read. Let your covetousness, let your covetousness, I mean, let your conversation, let your conversation be without covetousness. Be without covetousness. Don't desire something that never belongs to you. Read. And be content. And be content with such things as ye have. And such things that you already have. For he has said, he has said, I will never leave thee. He said, I won't leave you. I don't care how little it is. I ain't gonna let you starve. I ain't gonna let you go down. Great. Nor forsake thee. I will never forsake thee. Great. So that we may boldly say, we might be boldly say, the Lord is my helper. The Lord is my helper. And I will not I will not fear what man shall do unto me. What man shall do unto who? Unto me. Unto me. Read. Remember them. Remember them. Which have the rule over you. Which have the rule over you. Who have spoken unto you. Who have spoken unto you. The word of God. The word of God. 
Whose faith follow? Who faith follow? Considering the end. Considering the end of their conversation. Of your conversation. Jesus Christ the same yesterday. He's the same yesterday. And today. And today. And forever. And forever. He never changed. Read. Be not carried. Be not who? Be not carried. Carry about about don't with, be carried about with divers with divers in strange doctrines. Don't get around people that don't carry you into strange doctrine. If you need a coat, he'll give you one. Those that belong to somebody else. Read them. For it is a good thing. For it is a good thing that a heart be established with grace. That your heart be established with grace. If you want to hang around, he'll give you one. Go ahead. Not with meats. Not with me. Which have not profited them. And not profited you anything. That have been occupied there. That, that have been occupied. We have an altar. We have an altar. Whereof. Whereof. They have no right to eat. They have no right to eat. Which serves the tabernacle. Which serves the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts. No. The body of what? Of those beasts. Of those beasts. Whose blood is brought also? Whose blood is brought also into the sanctuary? Into the sanctuary by the high priest? By the high priest for sin? For sin? Or burn without the camp? A burn without the camp. Wherefore Jesus also? But Jesus also that he might sanctify the people. He might sanctify us. Where sanctify means set us apart for his use. And he is his own ring. With his own blood. With his own blood. So what can what? Romans 6 said, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Read. Let us go forth, therefore. Let us go forth, therefore. Unto him. Unto him. Without the camp. Without the camp. Bearing his reproach. Bearing his reproach. Read. For here have we. No continuing city. We don't have a continuing city down here. But we seek one to come. We seek in one to come. We look in the head to what God has prepared for us up in the kingdom of God. You can't get up there any kind of way. You got to be saved and sanctified and set aside doing what God said to read out. By him, therefore, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise. Let us offer. Up to him the sacrifices of praise. To God continually. To God continually. That is. That is. The fruit of our lips. That the fruit of our lips is to give him praise yes. for what he has already done. Isn't that awesome? Read Ellen. Giving thanks to his name. Giving thanks to his name. But to do good. But to do good and to communicate and to communicate forget not forget not for with such sacrifices well with such sacrifices God is well pleased He is well pleased what we do when we give Him praise and honor and glory and walk upright and do the things that He has commanded us to do He's well pleased with that I want to hear Him say when He's well pleased with you I want to hear Him say when I get up there. Servant, come on, well done. You did a good job. Come on, sit down the rest of the while. And I'm going to make you ruler over many things. That's it. So keep on. You have any more? Yeah. Read, read it. Obey them. Obey them. That have the rule over you. Yeah, here it go. Obey them, which is your pastor. Obey them that has rule over you. Read. And submit yourselves. And to submit yourselves. For they watch. They watch. They're going, they're going to watch the word again. They watch. For your soul. For your soul. As they that must give account. They have to give an account. Your pastor, listen, have to give an account to what? That they may do it with joy. Now, don't make them mad. They have to give an account. Wait a minute now. They, they may do it with joy. Don't get up, don't get on the, the, the uh, pastor's nerve. You got to go to God on it. You better obey, be armed, be a humble little servant. Read now. Let's see what he says. That they may do it with joy. That they may do it with joy and not with grief. And don't, don't make them don't grieve the pastor. 
When you read the pastor, you read the Holy Ghost. Read. For that is unprofitable. It's unprofitable to, for you. You, you ain't going to get nothing good going to come out of that now. Amen. You better watch. Amen. Don't read it now. Read. Pray for us. Pray for us. For we trust we have a good conscience. We trust that we have a good conscience. And all things. And all things. Willing. Willing. To live honestly. Your conscience is your God. Live honest so that you can be saved. You know, don't live like you got it like that. Live honest so you can be saved. Your conscience is your God. Where do you go? Your conscience go. Get that inner man. Some days you got hit back up in there. No man know about it. We have done some stuff. Guess what? But God knows it. So what do you do? He put you in a place where he can sanctify you. Put some fire on us. I'm not saying y'all. I'm saying us. So God knows I've been going through my trials this week. I ain't ashamed to tell you. I thank God for getting me ready for that great day. I thank God for him taking out the study of me and not like him. Read that. But I beseech you. I beg you. That rather to do this. That you do this. That I may be restored. That I may be restored. To you the sooner. The, to you the sooner. That was Paul talking about that thing, right? Yes. Okay. Now the God of peace. Now the God of peace. That brought, that brought again from the dead. He brought again from the dead. Our Lord Jesus. Our Lord raised him up. Resurrected Jesus. That, raised him up. That great shepherd. That great shepherd. Of the sheep. Of the sheep. Through the blood. Through the blood. Of everlasting covenant. And the everlasting covenant. When you make a covenant with somebody, it's agreement. Amen. You ain't got, you, it don't break so easy. You don't make a covenant and then you're going to go and break it. That's the covenant is agreement. With the one you made it with. Just like you signed an agreement down here, you buy something, and you buy something, you made an agreement. So your covenant is your agreement. I thank God for his covenant for going to the cross. He didn't break it. He, he thought about the, all this stuff that the agony that he had to go through. He said, but not my will, Lord. Let your will go ahead and be done. Ready? Make you perfect. It'll make you perfect. In every good work. And every good work. To, it'll be so hard to get along with. Because every good work, what? To do his will. To do his will. What is his will? His word. Amen. In the beginning, down to Revelation, I think he said, the vision always said, amen. amen. The last part of it said, amen. And you know what amen represents? It represents the truth. Amen. amen. Anything else? Amen. Working in you. Working in you. That which is well pleasing. That which is well pleasing. When God gets finished with us, He's gonna be well pleased. If you stay there and take the punishment, take the the, the uh, supper, He suffered. Why not I? He said, in order to be like me, you gotta arm yourself likewise. So go ahead and take the supper. After a while, the supper day is gonna soon be over, and then you won't have to suffer no more. And it's gonna be joy and happiness and peace all the time. Ready? Well pleasing in his sight. Well pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. And you gotta get around him. You gotta go through him in order to be sufficient. Through him. Read. To whom be glory forever. To whom be glory forever. And ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. That's it. Now go back. We got about finished, y'all. I'm gonna let you go home. Let's go back to our 43rd verse. 43rd. But know this. This is what he wants you to know. But know this. That if the good man. If the good man. Of the house. Of the house. Had known. Had known. In what watch. In what watch. The okay. Peace. This is the watch. The word watch. He was watching. If he had known. The, 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 if that known in what watch. The thief would come. What would happen? He would have watched. He would have what? Watched. Read. And would not have suffered. 
He would not have suffered his house, his house, to be broken up. To be broken up. What verse can you? Still in. I was still in third. Forty third. Forty what? Forty third. Forty third. Okay. Go ahead. Read it back over again. Yeah. Go to the next. Forty fourth. Uh -huh. Therefore, be ye also ready. I told you you have to be ready. Therefore, be ye, so you ain't gonna know when he's gonna come. Amen. You ain't gonna know when he's coming. So why not work on when the word tells us to work on ourselves and prepare ourselves and be ready to come, just like the thief. Nobody wants to think you're breaking his house. But if you're not around, if you the thief, wait till you go on somewhere, then he's gonna break in. And that's the way Jesus is coming. When you forget all about and you start your, your mind start doing everything else but watching, you're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get in trouble. Keep your mind, keep your mind on Jesus. Keep your mind on Christ, knowing that He's coming back again. Make your house ready. Because He is coming. Read out. Therefore be ye also ready. Be ye also ready. For such an hour, for such an hour, as you think not, as you think not, there's such a time, any hour, you think not, what are you going to do? The Son of Man coming. He's going to be come quick in a hurry. He ain't going to know he got there. But if you just let, you got your house, your bag packed, like you're going on a trip, all you got to do is grab that bag. Because you done prepared it, it's already ready. This way our life have to be in Christ. You got to be ready. Shown up ready. So the train don't leave you. Because he said, people get ready. The train is coming. You don't need no bag. It's just here. All you need is faith. That's all you need. Be out. 45th. Who then is a faithful? Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Wise. Wisdom. Use wisdom. Prepare. Make ready. Watch. That's why. Just don't wait till you see. You know. I will put it like this. Your house is a little tiny. I'm a housewife, I'm a housekeeper. Sometimes your house get out of whack sometimes when you're working. I don't mind you. But if you wise, you know you don't use the leaders like that. If you got time to clean up, we got it. Women that work, I know sometimes you have to leave your bed and maid or something like that. Because when I used to work, I'd get up at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock and I'd go work. I didn't have time to do all those things. When I come home, I got to try to get the house. But when you got your house, if you wise or wise servant, whom his Lord had made rule over his household to give them meat and do sin. At the time. Mm -hmm. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he coming, to find so doing. Verily I say unto you that you shall make him, he shall make him ruler of all of his good. Why? Because he's wise. He can use somebody that's wise. Smart. Somebody know what to do. Put things in order. Turn her over, Ellen. I'm about to let y'all go. You know, I'm getting late. I got to finish this with you, but I ain't going to rest time. 48. But and if that evil servant. Now, but and if that evil servant. Shall say in his heart. Now, look, look what he said. Say in his heart. My Lord delays his coming. You watch yourself. I don't care. You don't know when he's coming. He said this this evil servant said he delays his coming. And what happened? And shall begin to smite his fellow servant. He began to smite his fellow servant. And to eat and drink. And to eat and drink. 
With the drunken. With the drunken. That's what people doing there. Eating and drinking and just like Job house. The service, they were eating and partying and drinking. And they, they, some evil force come and broke in there and kill them all. Because they were eating and drinking. And that's why Job said perhaps he had to pray for his sons and daughters. So we all, family, uh, mothers and fathers, we have to, everybody, pray for your family. Because the, el the, the evidence is that the devil will come in when you think now. Don't ever stop praying. Read. 50th verse. The Lord of that servant. The Lord of that servant. Shall come in a day. Shall come in a day. When he looketh not for him. For he not looking for him. And in an hour, and in an hour that he is not aware of, he's not aware of. God can come. That's why He said we have to be already prepared and ready. So He's gonna come a day that we even think, and we know not the day that there's not an hour that He's coming back, but He is coming back. So prepare ourselves and watch. That's your by word for tonight. Watch. Read the other day that we going home. 51, and shall cut him in asunder. And you'll be cut asunder. And appoint him. And appoint him. His portion. His portion. With the hypocrites. With the hypocrites. There shall be weeping. There shall be weeping. And gnashing of teeth. Let me drag you into the hellfire. That's a bad thing. That we get thrown in hellfire. I'm finished. May the Lord sanctify this word, I say, down in my heart and your heart. May he sanctify it, that we might be ready when Jesus comes. Watch ye therefore, no man know the day and the hour that he is coming. Be ready. Tell your friends, tell your neighbor, tell your enemy. I'm going home on the morning train. Oh, I'm going home on the morning train. Oh, evening. Maybe too late. Oh, I'm going home on the morning train. Pastor Robinson? Yes, sir. Hey, man, how you enjoy the service tonight? Oh, oh, just fine, just fine. I'm waiting for the blast to come through, which is tomorrow. Be, be aware, tomorrow is the blast night. Bring your envelope with what you want in the year of 2018. God will give it to you. Bring your envelope. Amen. Put it in my hands, nobody else, and watch how God works. Amen. So the envelope is the letter, right? The envelope is the letter and the dime. Amen. That's going to keep you from being broke all year round. 
Amen. Do that. Put it in these hands. Tomorrow night, just before 12 o'clock, it's going to be blessed. Praise God. How you doing, Pop? Uh, Pop said, "Bob Just fine. How are you? Amen, amen. Uh, how you enjoy the service on um, today? Beautiful, beautiful. Thank God. God is so good. Keep us down through the years, and I love the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Okay, Pop said. Okay. That was gonna be the last speaker. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> how you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? You all right, all right, all right. So, so how you enjoy the service today? I enjoyed it. Watch. You got to watch everything that come towards you. And don't let nothing come towards you in the new year. Because Satan going to try to do some dangerous things to people. So, everybody got to keep their eyes open into the 2018. Because the devil... Let me see how can I put it. The devil is really mad. That some people is making it over. Amen. Not all people, but some people. Amen. So I hope to see you in 2018. God bless you. Amen. What um on what's your name? Where? Reverend Raekwon Evans from New Shadow Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. Okay, Elder Dow Wilson. How you amen. doing? Praise the Lord. All amen. right. Praise the Lord. Truly, man, it's been a blessed evening and night. Amen. On the word <clears throat> watch. Amen. Praise the Lord. And starting off our service. Amen. Praise the Lord. And everybody, you know, all saints, believe it, I believe it's a high time call. Amen. Praise the Lord. Watch all things, church, which spells watch in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And um, Elder Dow Wilson, um, introduce yourself. Um, where you from? Um, Patterson, New Jersey. <laughs> the great assembly of house of prayer. Amen. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Patterson, Amen. New Jersey. Amen. <laughs> Elder Tom, how you doing, man? Praise the Lord, sir. All right. Um. So, how you enjoy the service today? I enjoy service tonight. You know the word watch. You know we have to watch everything. We have to watch our surroundings. We have to watch ourselves, the way we carry ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know. You know what the Bible says: watch as well as pray. We we have to also pray at, at a time such as this. Mm -hmm. You know the word pray: p a a y, not p r e y. We, we need to stop praying on each other and start praying for one another yes. and watching each other's back and become one on one accord and stop the division and become one Amen. and start watching for our brother, our brothers and sisters instead of kicking them down, <coughs> start lifting each other's up and, and stop clipping each other's wings so we can fly together. Amen. Amen. Likewise. Elder Tom, you introduce yourself and where you from? I'm Elder Thomas, Sister Mino. I'm from Greater Assembly Holy House of Prayer. Amen. Praise God. 